Okay, so today I'm going to talk about uh, this tool called Ordia, which presents information from Wikidata about lexemes, that is essentially about words and phrases. Um, let's have a look. So here are some examples given, for instance, there's the word if belong, a German noun. Um, and here's the profile, we can also see well, what the Wikidata entry looks like. So the important thing here is uh, it sits in the lexeme namespace and starts with the letter L as opposed to the normal items that start with the letter Q. And then the basic idea is that you take this word and then you annotate it with structured information. So the language of this word is German, lexical category is noun, and then you can make uh, some statements about this. So it's not just a noun, but it's a countable noun, a count noun. Uh, it's a compound word because it consists of the words Luft and Ballon. Um, it's masculine, gender, and so on. Lots of things that can be said about this. And so you can annotate this word. And basically, Wikidata tries to collect and annotate words from, well, essentially all the words from all the different languages. And uh, this tool helps with that. Let's have a look brief look at the statistics as well. So there are about 800 languages, about 500,000 number of lexemes, that together almost 9 million of different forms. And uh, so this is 25 million number of complicated feature links, basically 25 million statements about grammar of these things. Yeah, and lots of identifiers. Uh, okay, so uh, here we go back to this word that uh, basically the information we have seen directly on Wikidata is now presented in a slightly different fashion. Here, um, for instance, it combines the information from multiple Wikidata entries to tell us that, okay, Luftballon is composed of ballon and Luft, and uh, the German word ballon uh, derives from the French word ballon. Uh, each of these are clickable, and then you can go to their respective profiles. Okay, so um, once we have that, the question is how does the data actually enter uh, Wikidata and thus Scolia? And that's what I want to talk about next. So here there's a uh, the audio comes with a number of tools, including a text to lexeme tool. The good thing here is I can basically paste any text, and so for that I'll go to a paper. I'll just copy paste the entire page. I'll throw it in here. And to make things a little easier, I'll remove the, the reference part because uh, lots of the names of the people they sometimes cause I just make things a bit more complex. So now I have to tell it whether it's what, what language it is in. Actually, there is a tool for that as well. Text to language. I just pick a certain paragraph here. I throw this in. I will look as the first letters in the sentence, and then I will Ask the tool, okay, what language is it? And here it says it's most likely English because it found 45 words or lexemes from my sample text, also in the English language. But in principle, uh, there's bits and pieces also from uh, that it found in other languages. So Swedish and French and Latin are contenders as well. Um, so once we know that this is English, we can go here and declare this is English. In terms of casing, for simplicity, I'll just put everything on, uh, I'll make everything lowercase. And now, uh, what the tool does is it takes the text and then it checks whether any of the words from the text are already indexed in Wikidata um, as lexemes. And if not, it will give us a possibility to fix that. So, yeah, so we have Adriano, <laughs> uh, Africa.
Eastern African. These are all things open as all. Okay, that could be a candidate here. All this. America, America. Ankylostomiasis. Okay, so um, yeah, for all these words that are in black, we see uh, that there is already an entry and those uh, blue links here link to the different forms uh, and those here to the different senses of uh, that particular string. Antiparasitic, antimentic, that's okay. Uh, and, and now I'm interested particularly in those uh, things that do not have an entry in uh, Wikidata yet. So to make that a bit more easy to browse, I just resorted it. There are lots of chemicals that are not indexed as vaccines yet. Diseases. Compound words. Okay, so and so when I'm clicking on these words here, I'm being led to another tool um, that allows me, or to another page that allows me then to basically define whether I want to create a new lexeme in Wikidata more or less by hand, or whether I want to use some tool uh, to do that. So I'm Kylostomiasis is a noun, an English noun, and the plural of that is the same almost, uh, but with an E at the end. Now what I've done is I've created this word, and uh, or an, an, a Wikidata entry for this word. It now says it's an English noun, that was just me clicking around and also knows that there's two forms. There's a singular form, this, and plural form of ES. Okay, so that's uh, how this kind of information is, or can be entered. Antimentic, so that is an adjective. It's an antimentic dog. This is a more, and this is a most antimentic dog I've ever seen, yeah, probably. Okay, so now this word is also indexed. Antiparasitic, adjective. Okay. Parasitosis. So here we actually have the plural first, so we have to not do it like this. Front runners, it's the same. And Jazz's, same thing. Yeah, now, so we have created a number of those words that were not originally indexed in Wikidata based on the text that I've pasted into this tool here. Um, I could go on and basically work on all of these. Um, it's important to note that some of them, like November, or NTD or NTDs, uh, they typically are capitalized. And here for the lexemes, we actually do distinguish between capitalization, uh, like low case and uppercase. Uh, let's see, relation-based program. Okay, so 
last one here. And in principle, what I'm interested in with this demo is also like how can we use some automated tools to make this part here more efficient. Right now, it's me going through this list um, and also checking for um, lowercase, uppercase. Uh, within the Wikimedia ecosystem, we have lots of text. All the Wikipedia articles, they could be uh, spidered this way. Maybe I should just uh, actually show this. Should go to Wikipedia. And yeah, or actually for good measure, I should pick another whatever. Let's try Hangover. So I just take this here and I throw it in here. Korean, but more chaos. And let's see whether we can uh, too much Latin letters here. Actually, Korean is missing. There we go. That's <laughs> there we go. Guide. Okay, uh, but in principle we could uh, play the same thing here, uh, just that here the, the tool is not as simple as uh, it was before for English, right, so here I could go uh, and try to create that, but this doesn't really make sense because this is just, um, so this is actually two lexemes, this is ke and ga. Uh, do two different lexemes, they shouldn't be um, indexed this way without for um, specific reason. Or oh, Nihongo, we can check whether that's in. That should actually be Japanese. Yeah, so Japanese is a Japanese noun, that makes sense. Um, Okay, so the uh, thing is, this, this works for a number of languages, and uh, yeah, we could actually go back to English just to quickly show this. Burnley Football Club, okay, what's this? Anything? Museum? Museum of Literature Island, okay, let's take this one. English to the lowercase, and so now I've pasted in this uh, the text of this Wikipedia article, and let's do the same thing. Mentity, okay, distribution share like Filmstar, really. Yeah, there are lots of names of people who have been cited in their dates. Honorable, okay. Irish language. Joyce, London Market. My username. <laughs> PNG. British text official. Week. Weekend. So a common typo of the. Uh, or maybe it's just uh, written like this in Irish. I don't know. Okay, so I don't find anything that obviously is missing here. I think center uh, is possibly of mentity. Center, okay, already exists here. Um,
And now this one is indexed as well. Yeah, so the uh, basic idea would be that we build a tool that uh, basically mines texts and ideally also phrases. Um, let's say unrestricted use. That's something we haven't put in yet. Um, so text to vaccines. Let me just yeah, we don't have uh, anything for the phrase here. Uh, is this a noun? It's a noun phrase. I I don't really know how, how best to so. Um, how best to annotate that. Um, yeah, so it would be nice to have a tool that helps with automating this. So that would mine texts like this for unusual words and then suggest uh, some uh, words or phrases to be created in Wikidata by checking what is already there. And um, yeah, so also once, yeah, let's let's have a look at some of those things. Uh, so water, in order to search in the vaccine namespace, I can prefix things with water. So for instance, there's the water. There's a number of different waters here. Uh, Homograph vaccine is water. Okay, so what's the meaning here? Common liquid substance. Okay, the other one is provide with water. Ah, okay, yeah. So this is a verb here, and this one is a noun, right? Water and water. So you can water a plant, for instance. Um, yeah, so we can annotate those things and then uh, when you come across a text that has the word water and uh, the phrase water a plant then you can specify that this water is meant uh, rather than that water so the information stored in Wikidata, Wikidata can actually assist with topic tagging of the texts that are being mined and so I hope that we can build some feedback loops that uh, will make it easier to make sense of uh, texts like this and whenever we, when we do make progress in making sense of this then hopefully the uh, data here in Wikidata will become a little bit more complete, a little bit more useful. Okay, thanks.